Hey everyone, this is Abhishek Vijayvargiya, Senior Data Scientist at Microsoft. Today, I'm going to take you through my career journey so far. If you are new to this channel, I would highly recommend to subscribe and turn on the notification so you won't miss any updates. Also check Scalar Events, where free masterclass are taken by industry experts. Let's get started. Like every techie, I also dreamed of working in top tech companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon. Before getting into Microsoft, I faced 12 rejection and that is not even counting the smaller companies. So how did I finally get into Microsoft? It took some time to happen. Let's deep dive into my career journey so far from where I started. I was born in Ajmer, Rajasthan. I went to a government school and completed my high schooling. I had no or very little idea about top engineering colleges like IITs, BITs and NITs. My only goal was to get a good grades. In class 6, my father put all of his saving and bought an Intel Pentium 4, which was the best at that time. I started fascinated about the computer science area. I started playing games, developing some HTML codes. Later, I managed to get admission in a local government engineering college. That was not the best, but I was happy that I get into the computer science domain. I completed my engineering in computer science in the year 2012. I was passionate about software industry and wanted to join some big tech companies. I got placed in one of the top service companies. I was super excited to join the company as this was my first job. But this much of weight was not expected. So I started knocking other doors and looking sooner options. Technology was developing at a rapid pace. There were so much to learn and so many new trends were coming. Before my masters, I have not heard much about data science or machine learning. During my masters in my first semester, I took machine learning as a subject. I thought it could be easy to learn, but it was not. I managed to get somehow the passing grades. Later, I completed recommendation engine as one of my project. Well, it was not great, but it was well rewarding as a student. After that, I finished my internship in the machine learning itself. I also got a chance to write my thesis in automated machine learning systems. I completed my internship in Informatica as a research intern and got a chance to work on their automated machine learning system. On a side note, internships are important to gain some practical experience. If your college provides placement support, you know where to put your energy. So I did the same and managed to get a top company named Inmobi. The company was great, a well-funded startup at that time and planning to do an IPO in US. They also provided some perks like free meals, on-site gym, off-site meetings, great insurance and a stock option. It was totally great. Later, I managed to get in another startup, but I was not sure which one to join. So I took help from my mentor and he advised me that I should go for a startup because there is so much to learn and so little to lose. So I chose that startup and that was the great decision of my career so far. In my first company, Fresh Gravity, I was hired as sixth employee. I was the first member of their data science team. Company started from a tiny room. Later, company managed to get great software developers and data scientists in their team. They also expanded in multiple regions. Due to their great leadership, I not only learned about the data science, but how to do the business, what things important for the customer and how to deliver things on time. It was a well rewarding experience. Life was going on with great learning experiences. One fine day, my internship manager called me and invited for the tea. I met him and he told me about one of the company that he's going to join, that is Fogon Systems. I came home, I checked it and I did my homework. I thought it was great and I applied for it. I got an interview call. It was four to five interviews containing programming exercises and some data science and machine learning interviews. I managed to clear because I was working in the same area. Later, I joined the company as a 12th employee and that company was also Series B funded at that time. There, I learned how to make the great data products end to end. The one great thing about the company that every person either from sales or from solution team or from the engineering team know the product end to end and they can fix and maintain anything. Everything was going great with my job. Moving forward, I got a call from Microsoft recruiter. They told me about the interview going to happen in my city on a very next day. I was not prepared at all, but thought of giving it a shot. I went there, gave the interview and managed to kill it out. After three, four weeks, I got the offer and obviously I joined them. This was the best decision of my career so far. Here I learned how to make a difference in millions of life, how your small work can impact a lot. Apart from my job, I have also written many books, 
reviewed many technical articles and research paper, developed courses, and helped other companies in building their first data science pipelines. I also helped other startups to hire their first data science talent. Till now, it was all fairy tales and rainbows because I haven't mentioned any rejections so far. Rejections are a great learning experience and let's look into it a bit further. Before joining Microsoft, I got 12 rejections and these are four to five interview loops, not just a single interview. My resume was good enough to pass the shortlisting criteria and I was also good enough to clear the telephonic round, but things are not moving forward from that point. After my last rejection from Facebook, I stopped interviewing and started looking at the problems. Here are some of the problems I have identified that can help you as well. My code was not clean. I was just using some random variable names and even not any comments. The time which I am taking to solve the problem was long. During a 45 minute interviews, candidate expected to solve two questions, but I was only able to do one. I was not handling the edge cases properly. Also, I was only discussing the final solution with the interviewer and not the intermediate one. I didn't know much about product and system design. I solved many problems on small data sets, but not on huge data sets. Also, I was showing no leadership skills. Although I was leading a team, but I failed to manage a story around it. During the culture fit round, interviewers were expecting some stories about what is your strengths and weaknesses. I was not prepared at all and just saying something randomly and that was not working at all. So I took my time and worked on my problems. I took a break for three months just for preparing and then waited for the right opportunity. Then I finally got a chance and got into my dream job. In my relatively small career journey, I had a fair share of learning. I wanted to share with you so that you can take a better decision. First, never think too much about upcoming challenges. I declined the offer of a well-funded company and joined a startup. I knew I could be fired at any time for not performing well. But it turned to be exactly opposite and I was able to generate much impact on that, which may not be possible with the bigger companies due to restrictive roles. Second, never stop learning. The time you think you don't need to learn anymore, your graph start going down. You need to learn continuously to keep ahead in your career. Start learning something new like IoT, blockchain, data science and machine learning. You can start with some of the free resources and if you are not sure, you can invest your time and money in books and other paid courses. Third, aim high. Whenever you are switching jobs, try to find better opportunity and higher roles. Sticking to the same role in different companies will not help you going ahead in your career. Fourth, create impact. Whatever you are working, try to give your 120%. Do something which is not under your direct control and build something on it. That will give you a possibility to move higher in your career much faster. Fifth, increase your value. The more valuable you are, you will get more better opportunity. Try to get some unique skills. Sixth, find a mentor. Getting a mentor is always a great choice. A great mentor can guide you in tough times. Try to get a mentor internally in your company or connect with some great people on LinkedIn. Seventh, gain knowledge in different areas. Gaining knowledge in different areas and applying in your work is a great skill and can make you a great researcher. Companies do want domain experts, but they also value creative thinkers because they need them to build something great. Eighth, ask for help. Never feel ashamed for asking help. In workplace, we have seniors, we have mentors, we ask for help. So it's totally fine to take their help and do the job which is already done. Ninth, give time to yourself. Prioritize your health. Spend time with your family and friends. That is very important and that can bring happiness in your work culture also. Tenth, help others. The more you help others in achieving their dreams, the more closer you will get to your own dreams. If you are good at something, share with them. This brings me to the end of the video. I hope you get some value and decide what is right for you. If you like this video, do like and comment and all the best to all the aspiring data scientists out there.